All right, about to put the Raspberry Pi inside of its casing. As you can see, I've already put the heat sinks on here and here just to keep the heat down when doing intensive computing processes and games and stuff like that. It helps it run just a little bit cooler. It's good to have. You probably won't need it, but these are cool. And they came with my case that I bought online for free. There's different colors you can buy and all that good stuff, different cases. The whole thing is very customizable, which is cool. So let's get started. Drop it right in there. Okay, I'm going to screw these in and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I got all the screws in. Snug, but not overly so. Now it's not going to rattle around. So we'll put the case top on. I got it the right way. There we are. Cool. That firm, snug snap. Now I got to put these on the bottom so it doesn't roll around. So I'll do that and get back to you. All right, this case came out looking pretty sharp. I got all the screws in now. Got the non slip pads on the bottom. I got the two heat sinks in there to keep the heat down. As you can see, you can access all the ports, SD card slot, HDMI, headphones, power source, etc. Just fine, nice and clear, gives it a cool look so you can see everything on the inside. Plenty of vents for heat ventilation and everything like that. I'm excited to continue the build, but yeah, this is the Kugi protective case that I got on Amazon for the Raspberry Pi 3, the clear version. Pretty cool. It was around like six bucks, dude. Not a big deal. But pretty excited. So let's continue with the build.